hello friends uh, i am satyendra and today i am going to solve this question this question was based uh, it has came from the classical mechanics and is from the uh, lessons of uh, theory of relativity and this question i think is quite important because it is based on lorentz transformation and lorentz transformation is itself a very important topic for csir net and gate okay so let's read the question the question was asked in uh, csir net june 2016 okay so let's read the question so <clears throat> let xt and x one minute let xt and x prime t prime be the coordinate system used by the observer o and o prime so there are two uh, frames that you can consider where first is this simple x and t and other uses the symbol x prime and t prime okay so the other coordinate system we use the primed symbol okay we use the prime okay as is as is superscript okay so there are basically two frames okay you can consider the two frames one is the s and other is the s prime okay okay it is given that the observer o prime moves with the velocity v equals to beta times c okay and with respect to o along their common positive x axis okay and if they have given the uh, the linear combination so if uh, this and this are linear combination of the coordinates okay then the uh, lorentz transformation relating o and o prime takes the form okay so here it is uh, quite very important to understand that what the question is uh, basically asking you is that okay so what they have done they have given you some linear combination so this is the linear combination and this is some linear combination that they have given you okay so these two linear combination these two linear combination belong to the frame s where the origin is uh, sorry i am extremely sorry okay so these two uh, these two linear combination belong to the frame s okay where the origin is o okay now there is another frame of reference which is o which has the origin o prime okay and in this uh, frame of reference o prime there will also be the corresponding uh, linear combination for these so for this and this the linear combination that will exist in the frame s prime where the origin is o prime there will be the linear combination should be like this okay this should be x subscript plus prime okay and x subscript minus prime so these will be the linear combination or the corresponding linear combination in the another frame of reference okay okay so <clears throat> finally they have asked you to find the lorentz transformation relating these things relating these and this so that means you have to find out the equation that <clears throat> that relates these linear combinations with these linear combination okay so the answer is already written here the relation between between the between these and these are explained with the help of these equations which are already written and we have to find out how we come up with these equations okay so let me explain you okay so let's read the solution so so there is a basic concept so this whole question is based on the lorentz transformation so let's learn what is lorentz transformation and that's the concept okay okay so you should know what is the lorentz transformation okay so lorentz transformation are coordinate transformation between two coordinate frames that move at constant velocity relative to each other okay so the first <coughs> so the first coordinate system or the coordinate frame is this and another coordinate frame is this okay so in this in the first the coordinates are written in this manner and in the second the coordinates are written in this manner every coordinate will have a prime okay and this and this and uh, and this frame is moving with a velocity v with respect to this frame okay and where it was given that v okay it was given that it is given the question that v equals to beta c okay it is all given in the question okay so the lorentz transformation are the equations okay the so the equations relating the coordinates of one frame with another frame are called the lorentz uh, transformation okay okay so here 
the Lorentz uh, transformation or the basic equations are written. Okay, since the since the uh, these uh, <coughs> these frames are moving uh, towards the relative to each other in the positive x uh, direction, so <coughs> the um, x will only have the transformation. X coordinate will only have the transformation, whereas y and z direction will not have any transformation. They will remain as it is, and also the time will change like this. Okay, so these are the basic equations of Lorentz transformation that you should always remember for your CSIR, NET, and GATE, and other examinations like chest and bark and t1 and etc okay so here the gamma has the value okay the gamma has this much value so finally you have to remember all these things okay okay let's go further so in the question it is given that v equals to beta times c and these equations are also were also given in the question okay so finally what i am going to do is that i have to find out Corresponding to this linear combination, I have to find a linear combination in the frame S prime, and that's this that will be this, and how I can find it? Okay, that is the question mark. So how I can find it? So I can formulate this with the help of this equation. So as is the first step in finding this is to form an uh, form a, is to formulate an equation and this equation will be formulated with the help of this. So for the, from this the corresponding equation in the uh, in the uh, in the frame S prime should be this much. Okay. So okay. And for corresponding to this equation, okay, for this corresponding to this, there will be the linear combination this in the frame S prime and that will have the form of this okay so finally i am going to f solve this okay i will solve this further and i will later find out come up with the uh, relation that is the relation between and that will give me the relation between these two quantity okay and when i will solve this i will uh, and when i will solve this equation in much detail then i will come up then i will come up with the relation between this and this okay this and this okay so let's do it how i did it okay so now okay so <clears throat> as a first i am going to solve for <clears throat> this one okay x uh, subscript plus and prime okay so let's do that so as i al as already told you that um, that was equals to this much so now at this point what i am going to do is that i am going to substitute the value of this i am going to substitute the value of x prime and t prime from the lorentz transformation that i have already told you okay so let's have a look at that okay so so this is the value of x prime and that's the value this is the value of t prime from here i am going to plug these values in that equation okay that i have shown you okay so here i have plugged the values okay so here the values is plugged and here the value is plugged okay so the value has been plugged okay and here at this point the gamma has been taken out okay okay now this equation here has been rearranged okay and now you can easily find that this is equals to this this quantity okay that you have already seen it was given in the question okay and finally the remaining quantities are arranged here like this okay now at this step i have taken out v over c as the common term and i left with this much quantity which is further equals to x subscript plus okay which was given in the question so i have plugged that value here okay now <clears throat> v over c is a is a well known that it has the symbol b okay it is denoted by the symbol b in classical mechanics beta that's the beta okay so the equation becomes like this further i have taken this s uh, x subscript plus has been taken out and we are left with this and then i have substituted substituted the value of gamma the gamma is equals to this and it is also well known in classical mechanics okay okay now at this point i have substituted the value of beta here the value of beta has been substituted okay okay now at this point the terms are rearranged okay 
here we are now going to rationalize this equation for rationalization we have multiplied and denominator uh, multiplied in the numerator and denominator by this uh, specific terms which will rationalize it that is the rationalization means that we want to remove the root from the denominator okay okay now <clears throat> at this point uh, <laughs> because of the multiplication of this term the root will uh, will uh, will get cancelled and that means that root will become uh, that root will get removed because let me explain you because here you can see that the bases are same okay so one so that is one minus beta square this is a common in both so one by two plus one by two okay said so this will become one and that it is not necessary to write the one so here it will become like that okay okay now this term can be written like this by using an identity that is a square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b okay so i used this identity okay so when i wrote it like that this and this got cancelled out okay i left with this much term okay now <clears throat> this can be further written like that okay okay and now this term can be written in this fashion because if you solve this then you will again get this okay okay from here also things will get cancelled out okay so here this and this will get cancelled out okay and then we will be left with this so here you can see that this is the relation between this and this which we actually wanted in our answer so this is our answer number one okay this will be the first answer okay now in the similar fashion we can solve for this this one okay and when you solve in the similar fashion you have to substitute the values of this and this here and this here and you will have to solve in the similar fashion that i have solved okay and on solving you will find that your answer is this okay and so this is your answer in this way okay thank thanks for watching this video okay thank you very much